Hello and welcome. So we're here tonight at 137 Distillery and we've come to a gin tasting. Now we're going to be meeting Pete Lumber. Uh, he's the owner and creator of 137 Distillery and he's going to be taking us through the four gins that they uh, currently produce. We're going to be trying some gins, so that's going to be good fun. We're also going to be uh, actually making some gin. We've got a few gin bloggers here tonight, uh, so we're all going to try the gin together and have a jolly old time. So let's get going. Peter Lumber, I'm the head distiller of 137 Gin Distillery, based here in Newbury. Um, it's the first ever gin distillery in Newbury's history. Well, tonight is all about um, a gin experience like no other, really. Bloggers and other people interested in gin in the same room, not just from the Newbury area, but far afield, to have a bit of an experience and have some fun, basically. Talk about what I do at the distillery, let them taste the gins that I make, and get their feedback really because it's all about gin. Well you, you don't know what gin is until you drink Lumbers Bar Funny Me Gin really, it's, it's great. Four gins, the multi of all winning gins now, so I've got a London Dry, I've got a Berkshire Dry, I've got a Navy Strength and I've got a Country Garden. They've got a different um, theme to each one. The London Dry is a traditional London Dry. The Berkshire Dry is great in front of a warm, roaring fire. The country garden, barbecue, you're in the garden, it feels like summer all the time, and the navy strength, it puts you asleep. It's about having individuality, I wanted to have my own story. It's a new bridge in, there's a story behind every corner. At the end of the day, I sell handcrafted gin, and it's 110% handcrafted. I make all my gins myself, I bottle all my gins, I label, I wax them. I pack them up in boxes, I send them out in the post, and a lot of thought gone into the making of them. I drink good gin, and now I feel that hopefully everybody thinks that I make good gin, and I, I just can't wait for the next chapter in the story. You could buy it in Master of Malt at the moment, Michelin Star restaurants, the Flight Club Darts in London, Manchester, Birmingham. You can actually buy it in Temple Bar in Dublin now, but we also sell it on our website as well. Right, so we're two gins in um, and they've been absolutely fantastic. First of all, we have the London Dry Gin, which was beautifully smooth and soft, very much led by juniper with a citrusy and fruity note uh, towards the end. Um, it was really, really very nice. Next up, we have the Berkshire Dry, which is um, Pete's new take on a dry gin. And I have to say, this is just absolutely delicious. I believe it's one of their best sellers and I can 100% see why a slightly more spicier and a slightly sweeter taste um, but it is just absolutely delicious you've got got to try it so those two are down and we now have the navy strength so i'm gonna give this a little try here now cool. wow that is unbelievable for a 58 percent gin it is incredibly smooth quite a delicate flavor um, that is one of the nicest Navy Strength gins I've had by a long way. Right now it's time for the fourth and final gin. We have got the 137 Country Garden, so let's give this a little try. Oh, wow, it's very, um, very florally. Quite a herby kind of finish. We've got that mixed with an elderflower tonic, which is bringing quite a nice sweetness to it. Uh, yeah, very impressed with that. I reckon 
the Berkshire Drive has to be my favourite. It's absolutely fantastic, just absolutely love it. Um, but four fantastic gins. So there we have it. We've tried all the four gins 137 Distillery have, um, and I have to say, uh, absolutely delicious. All four of them, all very, very different. So whatever your flavour, profile, whatever flavours you like, um, there's definitely a gin in there for you. Um, Met Pete, uh, what an absolutely passionate um, icon really of the uh, the gin industry and he has come so incredibly far in such a short space of time so it's really exciting to see him go and see where 137 distillery will go all I can say is go out and get yourself a bottle you've just got to try them they really really are great give it a try let us know what you think for now we'll leave it there and we'll see you next time